Hi, um, welcome back. Um, in this video, what I'm going to go through is a basic three uh, photo edit for interior photography. Um, so if you recall um, on one of my previous videos, which I'll link in the top right, uh, I went through this matrix of the different sort of standard editing uh, types that I go through. So what I'm going to go through today is this one here. So it's a three frame basic interior with a window pool. Um, so what that involves is having uh, three photos that you need to merge together in Photoshop. Um, so if you've looked at my previous video um, where I talked through the colour grading um, and my down selection, um, what I have is um, blue that indicates the photos that have yet to be processed uh, and a one star meaning that um, you know, they have yet to be done as well. Um, key thing to see here is how I capture the photos and the sequence I capture the photos um, flows all the way through uh, into Lightroom and then into Photoshop and the actions I use in Photoshop and then back into Lightroom. So what you'll see here is that I've got it in descending order uh, by capture time. So that means that um, this photo here, the last one to be listed, is the first photo that I actually took um, when I was on location. So the sequence of these photos um, in order is um, a, a, flame, a frame for uh, the view, so that's the window pool um, using the darken technique. So I flash the the the, um, the windows as well, uh, so that the view is darker than the interior. Uh, and then the, the frame before that uh, is the flashed frame for the interior, and then an ambient frame. So the first thing I do is select all of these, uh, and then right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So once the photos have loaded into Photoshop, um, so what you'll see is the sequence of the layers is that the, the window pool layer is on top, um, followed by the interior flash frame and the ambient frame on the bottom. So the first thing I always do um, with my actions here is to align all the images. So literally just press that button and that goes through and lines all the images. So once they're aligned, what I have is uh, an action that goes through and does um, a 50-50 flambient uh, technique um, which you will find uh, with Nathan Cord and others have um, talked about. Um, so what it does is actually reorder the layers. So uh, what we have now is the flash frame on the bottom um, and then the ambient frame is in the middle above that um, with the, luminos um, the blending mode set to luminosity um, with the opacity set to 50%. Um, so again, sometimes you may need to adjust that depending on how strong the flash layer was that you're using. Um, and then on top is the window pool with a black layer mask. Um, so currently that, that layer isn't showing anything. So making sure you've got the layer mask selected and um, you've got the brush selected. Um, so go for a soft brush, so 0% hardness and around a sort of 4, 4 5% flow. And then making sure you've got a white brush and then literally just paint over the windows just to bring through that view as much as you want. So in this example, um, one, there's not much of a view, um, so I don't actually need to bring that much of it through. Um, so it's just enough just so it kind of is not totally blown out. Um, for this example, um, it's a holiday let, so it's kind of showing that you know, where it is and you know, how much it is or, or not overlooked. Um, so you'll see on the layer mask how much has come through and if I just click that on and off you'll see just how much brings through. So once I've done that, um, one thing that I do find is um, because of the colour temperature differences between the room and the outside is um, the view that you've pulled in can be a bit too blue. Um, so what I have is an action that basically warms um, that layer. Um, just to bring back some of the orange, so it's bringing you know, the Kelvin somewhere more in line with a typical outside view. Um, so once I've done that, um, I will then merge all the layers using a flatten all action. And then what I have is an action that um, gives it a, a standard bump. Um, so others uh, have already uh, termed that phrase, so it's, it's copied from them. Uh, and what this action does is actually take the photo, open it in camera raw, and then apply what is a Lightroom preset um, to the photo. So, and that sort of you know, increases the shadows, decreases the highlights, also applies some sharpening, 
uh, and things like that. So if I just click on that, it goes through. Um, you won't see anything happen other than actually with the final image. So once we've got that, uh, the only other thing I really do in Photoshop is just have a look around the image and see if there's anything um, that needs to be removed that's distracting. So I've noticed down here that there's a, a little dent in the carpet. So just using a spot healing brush, just click on that. And I noticed on the wall there was something around as well. I can't see that at the moment. Um, so the other key thing that I look out for is where there's any strong color casts. Um, so because this is a fairly sort of... Um, neutral room um, there there isn't too much but if you look at the the bed sheet you know, it's a white bed sheet but you can see a blue tinge on there so I do have an action that cuts out all of the blue channel uh, and again what you can do um, so for instance if you've got a blue sky is then you can bring that back just using the layer mask uh, but for this example there's no real other blue in the room that I need to bring back so I'm happy with um, how that that makes it so then go and flatten the image again and then Command W, save to um, save the photo and to bring it back into Lightroom. So once we're back in Lightroom, um, what I then do is just do any sort of final tweaks. Uh, so going into the develop module and just looking at the photo. So a couple of key things I look at is just how the overall exposure looks. Um, so I generally will boost that up a bit. Yeah, um, and I have the white clipping turned on, um, so you can. Uh, click on that to show that. Um, so generally I'm trying to get the histogram sort of with the majority of the image in the sort of you know, the top third um, of the histogram. Uh, and then the other key thing that I do is um, make sure that the verticals are vertical. So I use the guided uh, route for that. Um, and then just finding some straight lines that are you know, towards the far left and far right of the image. So just click and drag uh, the guides down just to make sure that you've got those as versatile as you can get them. So the other key thing that I've noticed, and you can just notice just down here, is where uh, you've aligned the images, you may get a bit of overlay. Um, so um, you've got that issue. Um, the other thing I noticed is that uh, the image doesn't necessarily uh, maintain a true three by two aspect ratio. So I always go into the, the crop tool in Photoshop and then reset it as a three by two aspect ratio. Um, and then just bring it in very slightly just to make sure I get rid of any of those overlays from the, the layers aligning. So, and that's the basic final image. Um, so it's a quick edit for a, you know, um, an interior photo, but hopefully it shows you a few of the techniques that I use um, for for these and they're specifically for sort of a three layer image basic edit um i hope you enjoy it um feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to see or anything that you do differently um and i'll do some other videos of different techniques uh, in the future all right thanks for watching bye